right, this is about April 25th. We're in the garden at Mountain Gardens. I want to show you this prickly ash tree. So this is uh, Sichuan pepper, this plant, Xanthoxylum piperitum. There are many different species of Xanthoxylum, including a couple of them that are native in America. One of them is called toothache tree, uh, Xanthoxylum americanum, and Clava hercules. A name for a lot of these prickly trees is uh, Hercules Club or Devil's Club. That's the Clava Hercules. So both thorny trees in the ginseng family and also thorny trees in the Xanthoxylum, which is a different family, are, get that common name. This one is multiple use in Japan, one of the two uh, favorite cooking spices of Japan, the other one being wasabi. So all parts of the plant are used at different times. The bark is also considered medicinal. But the main product we get from this is these tender young leaves. Like this. Or this. We pick them at various sizes and you can see the tree is rather sparsely leafed because we just finished picking it. We sent off about a pound of these little leaves we charge two hundred and something dollars a pound, I forget how much. Uh, it also has on it the female flowers at the moment, which would make the spice known as uh, Sichuan pepper if I had a male to pollinate. I don't think I do, so we'll see whether these are actually going to produce the seeds. It's actually the capsule, uh, the seed itself is considered toxic, but it's inside of a little capsule and that is the spice Sichuan pepper. But these leaves are used as a garnish. Uh, there's an interesting story on NPR not long ago that you might still get about the fact that they don't really interact with any taste buds. It's more of a tingling. It's like a vibration in your mouth that you get and it can actually be measured in hertz the way you measure a musical instrument. These are activated by just before you eat them you slap them and that releases the uh, the volatile oils. So the flavor is sort of lemony and with the sort of tingliness of uh, Echinacea or Spilanthes, if you're familiar with those. It's a unique flavor and it's used primarily as a garnish on uh, different springtime specialties, sushi in particular. So we've picked the tree once and we'll probably go back and pick it again. As I said, the bark also has a medicinal use, hua jiao, it's uh, warm the interior and it's also helpful for uh, expelling wind damp, which we might equate to rheumatism. Uh, and last but not least, this is the perfect wood for making pestles for kitchen mortars. It's said to guarantee long life if the mortar of your, uh, you know, grinding, you want to use this for the wood. Thank you.